In the 1920s, Goodyear blimps began dotting the skies over America, spreading Goodyear's name across the country. Their role in advertising and marketing was always in the plan. In 1925, Goodyear's first commercial non-rigid airship, the Pilgrim, was flown using helium. Goodyear expanded its aeronautical department in the late 1920s to build giant airships for the United States Navy. The airships USS Akron and USS Macon were built in the Akron Air Dock between 1929 and 1933. After December 7, 1941, Goodyear blimps were engaged in America's defense. With the end of World War II, Goodyear returned to commercial fleet operations. On January 1, 1955, the Goodyear Blimp Enterprise 5 became the first to produce a live television broadcast. Today, the Wingfoot Lake facility is dedicated to building and maintaining the new generation of Goodyear airships. The gondola on display at the MAPS Air Museum is a GZ-22 Goodyear Blimp gondola. The Goodyear GZ-22 was a class of blimp first flown in 1989 and operated by Goodyear as its flagship promotional aircraft. Unveiled on August 5, 1987, it carried civil registration N4A and was christened the Spirit of Akron. This was the only airship of this class ever built. Goodyear originally designed the GZ-22 to demonstrate the possible renewed use of airships to the United States Navy, which had ended their airship operations in 1962. The GZ-22 was designed by Goodyear, but built by Laurel Corporation after Goodyear sold its aerospace division to Laurel in 1987. At its launch, the 205-foot, 6-inch long Spirit of Akron was the longest airship in service at that time. The GZ-22 type certification was issued on August 31, 1989. She flew for Goodyear for just over 10 years during the 1990s, always a staple to the Northeast Ohio skyline. On October 28, 1999, the Spirit of Akron suddenly entered an uncontrolled left turn and began descending over Sheffield Township, Ohio, crashing into trees and sustaining severe damage. The pilot and technician on board received minor injuries. The National Transportation Safety Board report on the crash identified a failure of the flight control system as the probable cause. Goodyear donated the gondola, part of the envelope, and many of the parts to MAPS Air Museum. A MAPS restoration crew went to work on the car in April of 2008 at the Wingfoot Lake hangar. On October 31, 2008, the partially restored gondola was delivered to MAPS on a flatbed truck for final restoration, including reinstalling cockpit instrumentations and lighting. The gondola was dedicated in June of 2009. The control car of the Spirit of Akron is currently on display at the MAPS Air Museum. The Spirit of Akron retains the colors and markings as it flew during the 1990s.